Hey everybody, this is Rainy from the Journals of Awakening, and with my co-host, Ben. Hi! I'm just kidding. Co-host. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so, go on. Um, Get into it. So today we're going to talk about the two types of people when it comes to the world's current pandemic. There you go. Careful with your words. <laughs> um, number one, there is the person who listens to the news, the propaganda, wears the mask, takes everything super seriously. And then there's Ben. Who listens to the news and the propaganda and decides to do the extreme based on the news. <laughs> which still means that you're reacting to what is happening. Uh-huh. So. Well, yeah, I'm mad. I'm angered. I'm not so, going to say, like, I don't. He just doesn't understand how viruses work. So I was talking to him about this last night. It was, like, things have names. Like, if you get sick, the type of virus matters. So, like, if you, you can go test for the flu... Or you can test for um But obviously if you test for the flu, you have the current virus no, going around. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's not true. There are they are different viruses. I don't get tested, so I don't know. I know. There are different viruses that give different I wish I could give you an example that didn't have to do with science. So okay. Why there I are science? so many different types of <laughs> apples. Of what? They're all apples. Apples. Okay. They they all taste like an apple. Right. But they all vary slightly, so they get different names. Okay. And that's how viruses work. There's a bunch of different viruses that do that are, do slightly different things, but they give off different names. Well, I'm just saying, what are the statistics right now for flu and cold? And well, like, I looked at, okay, so. The fever, like the normal shit. That. Where did it go? <laughs> it still exists. It's it got just, renamed. No, that's just you listening to propaganda. No, I don't listen to <laughs> propaganda. I mean, like. Tom McDonald? <laughs> exactly. The only thing being talked about is the current pandemic. Yeah, okay. I guess. Mostly. That's the only thing being talked about. You can go research your own. They're still counting. You know? They are? Yes. Oh, my God. It's always counting, but they don't show it, and that's propaganda. Because you're getting mad because they're only showing you one number, when really, they're still counting everything. They're just not telling you. For example, um, this girl I know, she keeps posting all over Twitter to the fact where I had to mute her because I was getting really frustrated. And she was uh, retweeting things that said, like, uh, this is a, a pandemic and people are dying and the risk of stroke and long-term complications have increased. So I decided to go look up uh, risk of heart attack after contracting influenza, the flu. Yeah. And it increases. <laughs> You Everything sick, increases. Yeah, it. you get sick with anything, and yeah. your risk of all this shit is increasing. I just I don't like the hyper focus. That's what I mean. Yeah, so this go, girl just come on dude. is really frustrating because she's doing things. She's saying things like, "The pandemic isn't over just because you're over with it." Okay, well neither is the flu. Like get over yourself. It's still there because there yeah. was a time where she didn't care either, and now mm -hmm. she, all of a sudden she's acting like she's been carrying this whole social time. media consumed her. Uh, yeah, so that's what that sounds like. You guys heard me right here, man. Literally, that's what it's called a social contagion and she I thinks she's so fucking woke, but all she does is go on social media and listen to other people. My opinions are based 100%, 100,000% on my experience. I know, but that's also an extreme. Right? I because never wore the mask, because you know what you I mean? Because you can like, also say like breaking an arm doesn't hurt that bad. I've never broke an arm. Exactly. I can't say that. No, you can say that, but that's what I'm saying. Just because you didn't have a bad pandemic experience doesn't mean other people didn't. So right, you, if but, you go around But saying, some doctor lied to them and told them it was that. Like, they were obviously going through something else. They're just not, like, no, we need statistics. No. I don't believe in statistics. Okay, so, so don't think about statistics. <coughs> I'm saying that... I'm talking about real life experience. I don't know one true, person besides, you know, like people that got it, whatever, and they had to miss work. Stupid doctors told them they had it, but I've never known one person that had it. Nobody. Nobody I know got sick. I got sick. Barely. No, you, the, the very the, the first freaking time. shot, the shot made you more sick than anything. That's not true because the very first time we got it before it was in the United States, we were horribly sick. Yeah, but I've been horribly sick plenty of times. Okay. That's not the end of the world. It's no, fine. No, it's I'm not. Saying. But, uh, but it's easy having something to But when you got that shot, but I'm saying, that fucked you up. I know. You were sick. But I'm saying, and it didn't do anything. Because you still sure got have all the sicknesses I, that I got, I got you know what I mean? We all got the same year. shit. But what <coughs> I'm saying is that I have been sick and gone to get tested and it be negative. 
Yeah. No, they don't say everything is it, but it is popping up. It's just it's like when you called the hospital when Lana when Lana was sick. I think they didn't say anything about the pandemic. No. They said the flu and RSV are on the rise. And I don't know what that is, so. But exactly, they're very different. You know, they didn't. Just, I have no. I just figured it was a new variant. I didn't care. No. It's just like it's, whatever. I'm not wearing it. <laughs> they're very different when you have a newborn baby. That's why you don't let a lot of people visit because RSV is one of the biggest like baby killers. Oh, okay. So when that's on the rise, they're like no children under thirteen because I those mean, are the kids you, that get sick. If you just give birth to your kid at your home, you don't have to worry about visitors. No, I know that's totally true, um, <coughs> but I think that <coughs> it's just yeah, I'm extreme. <laughs> yeah, you're extreme because <coughs> I bet if I and this is what because <coughs> I was telling I'm people gonna, earlier, I'm extreme. I can't afford to take days off. But, you know, if I got, if I tested positive, they make me take days off. Yeah, and then what? We lose our house. I know. We, we starve. Exactly. You know what I mean? And so, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sick. You know, yeah. it's not going to be I, invisible. It's going to be like. Like she was up in the middle of the night in the bathroom sick last night. You know yeah, I mean? it's, I, I'm obviously sick. They're going to send me home tomorrow. I can already feel it. Well, but. At that point, you already made everyone else sick. I, yeah, I know. But if they're, if they're going to. But if they could just give me a test and then maybe feel obligated to pay me for it, because otherwise... Oh, see, and that's right back into it. Why would you get paid because you have the the, 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 the trending virus? Yeah, Because you have the trending virus, it. you get paid? Fuck that. that. That's stupid. It is whack. Because stupid. I if lost I my job that flu, shit. If I have the flu, then you know? just have the flu, right? You, know, it's, it's you don't whatever. get paid for that. I've had it's customers sick, come man. in wearing a mask and say, it was just a small cold. Okay, but if it was the other thing and you didn't have any symptoms, it's right. still okay to spread it. Yeah. Basically, exactly. getting people getting people sick sucks. And it's not cool. Yeah. I what... already planned on wearing a mask tomorrow, but not yeah. but not because of this specific. Because if I was this sick and had oh the yeah, flu, it's just brought an enlightenment to mask. Okay, yeah. like I'm not fucking. You know, <laughs> some people are gonna hate me for this because they think I'm extreme. But no, I fucking. If you're in a fucking hospital. Put your damn mask on, fool. Everybody in there is sick. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which I failed but at doing. Grocery but shopping? Hell no. You know what I mean? Shopping? No. Like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I Going feel like... Going outside? No. And I feel no. like doctors should always have masks on because they're around they so many patients. They deal with sick people. That's why they wear masks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and <clears throat> so I totally agree with that. Because even Ben, it was crazy because he wore it the right way in the hospital. I couldn't even believe it. <laughs> I know, man. I was like, oh, my God. You know, he'd take it off to breathe in the elevator. I hate being sick, you know? So, of course, but, if I got this newfound, uh, uh, new learned ability, like, oh, wait, I could actually slow viruses? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, when I'm in a hospital, I'll do that. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> like, or, like, if you're sick, don't go to Walmart. That, I'm, no, nah, you got to do what you got to do. Then wear a mask if you're no. sick. When you're sick. No. I think if you're worried about it, you wear the mask every day. You'd be the crazy No, because person. the mask, they say that the mask doesn't <coughs> help you. It think helps about others. It. Think about it. You, you're, you're sick. You don't put a freaking, like a fucking gag over your mouth and walk around like half breathing. <gasps> yes, because the mask prevents the particles from coming out. You yeah, know, but no. you can still suck in. How about you take an oxygen tank with a mask on that? Like, I, I'm with that. But uh, suffocating yourself while you're sick for the benefit of others? Eh. No, sometimes you gotta be a little selfish, well, and you take that risk. You go shopping. You better believe some somebody's sick in there. Okay, I get that. That's true. Right? But Order I it online still, if you're one of those people. I'm still gonna wear it to work because there that's my place of employment, and I can't help all the old people who come in. You know? You they know? can. They can put their yeah, mask on. Yeah, but it's it's a, if a lot of people. If they're do. scared, they can wear a mask. A lot that's of people do, so. but I'm sick. It just wouldn't be fucking fair. I'm, I'm obviously... I'd just tell them. I'd be like, hey, I'm not feeling the best guy. It's just distant. You know what I mean? No, because I ring people out. I touch all the shit. You know? It's, <laughs> I got hand sand. Hot, <laughs> there you go. <coughs> hand sand. I just think... Uh, <coughs> Drink bleach. The president said that was a good idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, don't do that, kids. Disclaimer. Do not oh, yeah, drink bleach. Do oh, my God. <laughs> so. I am... Um, not feeling very good either though and i took a dab and i, I feel, don't even feel high because it didn't really because i'm sick i need to take edibles like all day is what i need to do you know i need to heal 
about you? Ooh. Well, you smoke. I mean, that can't feel like it's helping you when you're coughing.